Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the August 2019 horoscope for Pisces. As I am shuffling, I will go over the transits for the month of August. The cards that I will be using are the Zodiac Barbieri Oracle deck, the Rider Tarot deck, the Connolly Tarot deck, as well as playing cards. So don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any content. And leave a comment if this helped you or resonated with you in any way. So I'm going to show you, I already have some cards laid out. This will be a preview for the month of September. So we will go over these later. So starting off the month, we do have a new moon in Leo, very late on July 31st. Mercury also comes direct very late on July 31st as well. So for those of you who didn't know, Mercury has been retrograde in Cancer. Now when Mercury comes direct, it will not be fully out of retrograde. There will still be a post shadow. So this is after the retrograde. There will be a brief period where there's still time for things that have not been faced to be reviewed. And as Mercury is in Cancer, this sets the tone for our communication style. Our communication will be very empathetic, caring, and emotional. And with this new moon in Leo, this is a gateway or an access point to your true happiness and authenticity. So take advantage of this new moon. Now following this, we do have the moon in Virgo. And this is where we will feel more practical, more grounded. You may find yourself wanting to do some chores or errands around the house. You may find yourself picking up some new habits or routines that are beneficial to you. Following this, the moon moves into Libra. Where you may feel the need to relate to others. Especially in relationships, you may feel the need to want to bring peace and harmony into your situations. Following this, the moon moves into Scorpio, which is its fallen position. 
And so this is where some insecurities, fears, doubts, feelings that you may want to hide from or not face, the things that we tend to stuff away and hide, these things tend to come to the surface with the moon and Scorpio. So these are things that you will have to face. And following this, the moon will be in Sagittarius, where you may feel the desire to seek out higher knowledge and understanding in your life. Now on August 11th, we have a few things happening. Jupiter does come direct. And for those of you who didn't know, Jupiter has been retrograde in its home sign of Sagittarius. Where we have sort of been in this observational mode of visualizing and seeing the things that we want to manifest. And with Jupiter direct in its home sign of Sagittarius, this is where these things start to unfold and come to fruition. You will see great abundance come into your life. Whether this is through blessings or challenges, these are the lessons that will help you grow and expand in your life. Also on the same day, Mercury enters Leo. And so this is where our communication style changes to being more bold, more outspoken, speaking straight from the heart. Also on the same day, Uranus stations retrograde. And so with Uranus retrograde, this is the destruction, the chaos, the breakthrough. And for those of you who didn't know, Uranus has been positioned in Taurus for the majority of this year. And so with Uranus in Taurus in its fallen position, this is questioning the values the things that we are attached to, the things that bring us comfort and security. This is really asking us to free ourselves from old attachments and values that do not serve us anymore. And when Uranus stations retrograde in Taurus, you will find that these old values, these old belief systems, these old foundations, these old things that give us comfort and safety will start to fall apart. And so it's important that you release these things that no longer serve you. Following this, the moon moves into Capricorn, which is its position of detriment. So with the moon in Capricorn, this is where we can feel detached, a little more serious. And the positive side of this is this gives you 
the ambition and the drive to achieve your goals. Now following this on August 15th, there will be a full moon in Aquarius. And this full moon will be very powerful. It will bring unexpected breakthroughs and the answers that we are seeking. So this, especially with Uranus in retrograde, which can make us feel confused or lost, this will be a very powerful full moon, bringing us clarity. And of course, with a full moon, this is a time to be open and receptive to the abundance and the energies that are flowing through. It's also a time to release. Following this, the moon moves into Pisces, and this is where you can feel confused or lost, especially when you try to figure things out logically or to overanalyze a situation. And so with the moon in Pisces, it is best to be in tune with your feelings and to trust your intuition. That is where you will find the clarity. Now on August 18th, Mars enters Virgo. And this is very powerful for getting things done, for starting new routines and habits that benefit you. This gives you the energy, the passion, and the focus To better yourself. Following this on August 19th, Jupiter makes aspects with Saturn. And this is the reality check. With Jupiter in Sagittarius and Neptune in Pisces, there are high hopes and big dreams. And so when Saturn makes retrograde, when Saturn makes aspects with Jupiter. This will show you if these dreams and expectations that you have for yourself, the things that you want to manifest into your life, are actually real and attainable. Following this, the moon moves into Aries, where you may feel more active, more lively, You may feel that you want to start a new project or to get out and be more active in your life. On August 21st, Venus enters Virgo. And this is a challenging position. Venus is in its fallen position in Virgo having to do with Venus dealing with love, beauty, creativity. And Virgo brings us back down to reality with routines, responsibilities, daily habits. And so with Venus and Virgo, you want to be cautious, especially in relationships, as Venus deals with relationships of being overly critical 
we're overanalyzing the situation. Now on the positive note, Venus in Virgo gives you the tools to clearly analyze the situation and see where the problem areas are. And so this gives you the tools to improve and better your relationships. Following this, the moon enters Taurus in its exalted position. And so this is where we will feel safe and comfortable and stable. On August 23rd, Virgo season begins. So this is where the sun enters Virgo. And this changes our conscious awareness and our behaviors. This is a new cycle, leaving the sun in Leo, which was more active, more lively, more fun, more adventurous in the heart of summer. And Virgo transitions us from summer to fall. And so with the sun in Virgo, this makes us more grounded, more serious, more focused, more prepared. Following this, the moon moves into Gemini. Which can create a lot of mental traffic. Our minds tend to be very busy with a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions as the moon is in Gemini. And you may feel yourself wanting to learn, communicate, or experience things in a new way, especially in your familiar surroundings. Following this, the moon moves into Cancer, its home sign, where you may feel more emotional, more sensitive, more empathetic and caring towards others. You also may want to hide or protect your feelings as cancer does have the shell for protection. Following this the moon moves into Leo and this puts your feelings on stage so you may find yourself being more dramatic being more bold with expressing how you feel. You also may feel the need to have more fun, to be adventurous. And ending the month of August, We have a new moon in Virgo. And this new moon is a doorway or an access point. For improvement and betterment in your life. And so that is the month of August. It is a very light and easy month compared to July, which was very heavy with the 
eclipse season and Mercury in retrograde on top of it. So this gives us a bit of a break, which should give you the opportunity to work on yourself. The month of July was a review period for you, a time of self-reflection to reveal to you the things that you need to work on in your life. And so the month of August will give you an opportunity to do that work in your life. Now, starting with the tarot, we start off with the page of swords in reverse. And so immediately there is a lack of communication. This feels as though a lot of you are closed off or secluded from communicating and interacting with others. So some of you are in this sort of hibernation period. And this is asking you to be the master of your thoughts to communicate effectively and to relate to others. And this could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But for a lot of you, it is time to communicate. In Pisces, a lot of you are stagnant in your decision making. A lot of you are indecisive. There is a confusion or an indecision about a choice that needs to be made. And the solution is to let go. If you are not making this decision because you are holding on to the past, it's time to let go. With the Ten of Wands, this is time to move forward. To act in a way where you are closing the door on the past. So it's time for a lot of you to change your actions, your behaviors. It's time to close an old chapter in your life. With the Six of Swords, again, this is showing this disharmony. in the way that you are thinking or even being closed off from communication. And so a lot of you are not only being called to communicate and to change your way of thinking, but also to physically act in a way that is new and that better serves you. So a lot of you are being asked to close the door on an old chapter in your life. And again, with the Three of Cups, there is this need for expression. expressing your feelings. For some of you, again, this is dealing with relationships as well and how you relate to others. So some of you need to close a door 
on an old relationship. And you must express this. For those of you who are indecisive at this time about closing the door on an old relationship that you in your heart know no longer serves you and you are unable to express these feelings, it is time to make that decision. Because a lot of you are stuck. With the Eight of Swords, you are stuck in this place of replaying an old thought or an old decision or an old feeling within your head. A lot of you are going through the same mental patterns. This is where you are stuck. And so it's time to come out of this and make the right decision for you. And again, you are still stuck in the past with the Five of Cups. Stuck in the way these old situations made you feel. You're still attached to this. And so it's time to make your way out of this so that you can start growing and expanding on your journey. It's time for you to do what makes you happy. And again, the Hierophant, you do this by changing your belief systems. You do this by believing in yourself. A lot of you have the spotlight on someone else. And you want to focus on loving and believing in you, in yourself. And this is you in reverse because a lot of you are not going with the flow as you should. Again, a lot of you are stuck in this old feeling or this old thought of where you were before in the past. And maybe that place was right for you in the past. But for a lot of you, it is time for you to do what is right for you now. And again, we saw this earlier with the page of swords in reverse, air in reverse. So a lot of you are missing this component of positive thinking and communicating how you truly feel. and making the decision that is right for you. Change is very important in this journey. And the moon in reverse. Again, a lot of you are not expressing your feelings and a lot of you are stuck in this old place of security and comfort it's time for you to find the new place of security for you it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone and to do something new 
because this old place that you were in no longer serves you. And we do this again by Pluto change, transformation. A lot of you have this death and rebirth in your life that you have to go through. Death of this old belief system, this old value, this old thought pattern. And rebirth coming into a place that better serves you. So Pluto, this is where a lot of you need to go through this transformation. And again, Ace of Diamonds, there is this new beginning that you need to take. And this is Diamonds, this is Earth, so this is not about the intention. A lot of you have intentions, or you have feelings about what this new beginning should look like for you, or you know that you need this new beginning. But this is physical. This is diamonds. This is time for you to physically take action and make this happen. And again, this message comes up again with the Ten of Diamonds. This completion or ending of old structures old systems, old places of comfort and security in your life that no longer serve you. It's time to bring this old attachment or old feeling to an end. This no longer serves you. And we have the King and Queen of Diamonds. So again, this can be talking about a relationship that you are stuck in or attached to. This could also talk about an earth sign. So this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But with the Queen of Diamonds here, this is time for you to physically step into your power. This is time for you to do what is right for you, what truly serves you, what truly nurtures your well-being. And with the King of Diamonds, this is also for you to master this. And the Eight of Hearts is here. So this is time for you to move into what feels right to you. A lot of you are stuck in these situations that don't feel right to you. You know that this is not where you belong. And so it's time for you to make a move, to make a decision. And again, this is hearts. So for a lot of you, this can deal with relationships. The Four of Hearts, again, confirmation that a lot of you are stuck in this old feeling or this old relationship, 
these old thoughts, these old situations that you feel make you feel secure or safe. It's time to get yourself out of this. It's time for you to truly be happy. And again, it ends with the King of Diamonds. And so this is about you mastering this new structure, this new system that you must bring in your life. Again, this old system or this old belief system or this old attachment that you have must come to an end. It does not serve you. So that was August 2019. I will now give you a look at September 2019. And we start off with Libra because there's a need to bring your life back into balance, back into harmony with what is fair and true and just for you. This also, with Libra, deals with relationships. So again, this is something coming through very strongly for a lot of you, that there are old relationships that need to come to an end. It's time to bring back the balance and the harmony into your life. And water is here as well as mercury in reverse. This is what we have been talking about throughout the reading with this inability of expressing your feelings or communicating or moving, going with the flow. A lot of you are stuck in this place. And it is time to take action. And so for the month of September with this, this shows that some of you, yes, you will take action on this. For others of you, you may still be stuck in this position, still needing to act on this. So this does not go away for you. You have to make a decision, a choice for yourself. Being indecisive does not get you to your true happiness. You must get there with Mars. You must have a direction, a decision. So that was your August 2019 horoscope, Pisces, as well as a look at September 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, again, don't forget to leave a like. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And remember that if you do not hit the notification bell, you will not see the new videos. So keep that in mind. And I hope you all have a great day. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below on how this helped you or resonated with you in any way. Remember that... 
your story or your journey or the way that this helped you or resonated with you can also help someone else.